This video is to provide pre-operation inspection and training for Ballymore's drivable power stocker units. Prior to using the lift, a pre-operations inspection should be conducted. Start by making sure that the operations manual is on the lift and familiarize yourself with the information in the manual. Walk around the lift. Look to make sure that decals are legible and in place. Look for any loose parts or any damaged parts. If the lift has been damaged in any way, take it out of service, tag it out, and call for repairs. Verify there are no hydraulic leaks. Look for cracked welds or structural damage of any sort. Check for loose fasteners or pins. Verify proper operation of the gate. Inspect tires and wheels. The first step in our inspection is a ground function test. In order to test the lift from the ground, turn the key to the ground position. Use the toggle switch to raise the lift. Hit the emergency stop. Make sure that the pothole guard deploys. Go to the back of the lift and test the emergency manual lowering valve. Pull the valve and the lift should come down smoothly. Check the large emergency stop. Push it in. All power should be disconnected from the lift. Our last step before using the, the lift is the platform function test. Turn the key to the platform position before entering the lift. After entering the platform, make sure that all labels are on the lift and legible. Test the horn. After testing the horn, confirm that the emergency stop turns off the lift. Workplace inspection. Before using the lift, take a moment and make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Look up for any potential hazards. Look around the lift for any holes in the floor, debris, fixtures, anything else that might be in your way. Safety rules. Only use the lift for its intended purpose. Never use the lift as a crane. Never use the lift if there's a maintenance problem or the lift is in need of repair. Do not use the lift around electrocution hazards. The maximum load capacity of the lift is 650 pounds. This includes the weight of the operator and merchandise. Never exceed the maximum capacity. If you have a concern with any items tested during this process, do not use the lift. Lock it out and call for maintenance. To turn on the lift, pull out the emergency stop switch. After the power cycles on, the battery meter will tell you how much battery is left. The lift will automatically default to the turtle mode in the drive direction. To, to drive the lift, compress the dead man switch and move the joystick in the direction of travel. To go forward, press down. To go backwards, pull back. To go right or left, maneuver the joystick in the direction desired. To raise or lower the lift, change to the raise or lower mode. Compress the dead man switch, push forward to go up, pull back to go down. New operators should practice using the lift in an open area in the turtle mode until they are completely comfortable with the maneuverability of the lift. When using the lift, Position it close to your racks. Raise the lift to a level where it's easy to slide the merchandise onto the deck. Pivot the inside merchandise deck rail out of the way and slide the merchandise onto the merchandise platform. Remember, whenever possible, slide, don't lift. When you do need to lift, use good lifting form.
The lift can be used for a wide variety of merchandise. Use the lift for merchandise that is typically too heavy or too bulky for a rolling ladder. The lift can be driven in the raised position. When driving the lift in the raised position, look down to ensure that the base of the lift does not come in contact and that nothing comes between the bottom of the lift and the passenger compartment that the lift could get hung up on when descending. You are now ready to use your lift. Please remember to wear your safety harness at all times. Never climb on the rails or add anything to the lift to try to gain additional height. The most important thing to remember from a safety perspective is to use common sense and always be aware of your surroundings.